Hello, Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, the game where you can win up to one million dollars. All you have to do is prove that you're smarter than a fifth grader. It's that easy. Let's meet our next player. What you're going to do here is pick out which fifth grader you want to help you answer the really tough questions. I'm going to go with two. Here are the subjects for today's game. Okay, the $1,000 question is... Your classmate is locked in already. Locking in. I'm going to pick Juliet. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. in his hand. Locking in. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. That is correct. Woohoo! You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. All right. You've got $1,000. Yeah. yeah. You've got $1,000. All right. Okay, the $2,000 question is... George locked in his answer very quick. Locking in. I'm going to lock in my answer. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Are you feeling confident with your answer? You should, because you are right! Awesome! That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. All right. You've got $2,000. Awesome. You've got $2,000. Excellent. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Juliet. Okay, for $5,000, here is the question. Juliet has locked in her answer. Okay. okay, I'm locking in my answer. Jeremy. I'm going to lock in my answer. I feel good about
about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. I'm going to go with Alicia. I'm going to lock in my answer. Are you feeling confident with your answer? You should, because you are right. Yes. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. You've got $5,000. Awesome. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Yes. All right, for $10,000, may we see the question, please? Your classmate is locked in already. Jeff, I'm going to use my key. Locking in. Locking in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. May you please see your classmate's answer. If that's the answer you want to go with, lock it in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got $10,000. Excellent. That was that pretty was fast. fast. More, More importantly, importantly though, though, you're right. right. <laughs> Woo, you, you answered that one fast. Too bad we're going for accuracy instead of speed. Ah! Wow, I was sure about that one too. I wonder if your partner can get you out of this one. Never Whoa. underestimate the power of fifth graders. <laughs> All right. You've got $10,000. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Woohoo! We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. I'm going to pick Alicia. All right, here's our question for $25,000. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. Locking in. I'm Jaron. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. It's you and me, Jeremy. Locking in. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Woohoo! You've got twenty-five thousand dollars.
You've got $25,000. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Woohoo! Okay, you're playing for $50,000. Your classmate is now locked in. Locking in. Locking in. Locking in. May we please see what the classmate's answer was. If that's the answer you want to go with, lock it in. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You got that one right. Woohoo! You've got $50,000. Yes! Answer that one fast. Too bad we're going for accuracy instead of speed. Oh. Oh, no. Show us the correct answer, please. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. I can't believe it. That is. Incorrect. No! You're kidding. Oh, no. Only your partner can help you now. There are some questions even fifth graders can't answer. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. I am such an idiot. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Jerry. Okay, the $100,000 question is... Locking in. Lewis. Locking in. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Awesome. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. But this ain't one of those times. Mm. No! Oh, man! Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. These fifth graders must have studied even if you didn't because that is the right answer. Excellent! You've got $100,000! Okay, 
Okay, you're playing for $175,000. Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly. Locking in. Locking in. That is not correct. Ugh. No. Aw, oh, man. Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. I guess that really was a tough one. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. Wow. I just flunked out. That's not the right answer. Mm. Oh, man! I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. I can't believe what a moron I am. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's time to meet our first player. Now, the idea here is to pick someone smarter than you to be your classmate. I'm going to pick Juliet. Here are the subjects for today's game. Okay, you're playing for $1,000 on this first question. Your classmate is locked in. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. It's you and me, Jeremy. Locking in. Locking in. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. Locking in. Nope. Sorry. No! You're kidding. Oh, no. Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. Yes, sir! You just got saved by a fifth grader. Awesome. You've got $1,000. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Excellent. You've got $1,000. Awesome. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Awesome. Okay, the $2,000 question is... Julianne locked in her answer very quickly. Locking in. I'm 
going to lock in my answer. Locking in. Locking in. You've got two thousand dollars. All right. You've got two thousand dollars. Yes. You've got two thousand dollars. Awesome. You've got two thousand dollars. Excellent. We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. Okay. You're playing for five thousand dollars. Alicia, I feel good about this one. I'm locking on. I feel good about this one. I'm locking on. Locking in. I'm going to go with Juliet. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got five thousand dollars. You've got five thousand dollars. Awesome. You've got five thousand dollars. Awesome. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Okay, this next question is worth ten thousand dollars. Alicia has locked in her response. I'd like to use my peak cheat, Jeff. I'll peek at my classmate's answer. at my classmate's answer. Locking in. May we please see your classmate's answer? If that's the answer you want to go with, locking in. Not too That's sure of yourself, yourself, huh? Well, well let's see what your classmate said. Now's the time to lock in your answer. Locking in. May we please see what the classmate's answer was? Now's the time to lock in your answer.
That's not, not the right, right answer. answer. Oh. Oh. Show us the correct answer, please. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I am such an idiot. You've got $10,000. All right. That's not the right answer. Hmm. Uh, I can't believe it. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. Wow. Wow. I just, I just flunked, flunked out. out. You've got ten thousand dollars. Excellent. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Okay. The $25,000 question is... I'm dropping out of school. It's you and me, George. I'm going to lock in my answer. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. But this ain't one of those times. <sighs> wow, I was sure about that one, too. Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. Your classmate must have been absent that day. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. I can't believe what a moron I am. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Okay, it's time to pick which fifth grader you want to help you out when the questions get too hard. I'm going to pick Alicia. Here are the subjects for today's game. Okay, you're playing for $1,000 on this first question. Alicia locked in her answer very quickly. Let me work this one out. I'm going to have to peek at my classmates' answers. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Locking in. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. I think I'll peek. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Okay, it's time to check out your classmate's answer. If that's the answer you want to go with, I'm going to lock in my answer. May we please see what the classmate's answer was? If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it in. I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got $1,000. Oh. 
ます。You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. You've got one thousand dollars. Yes. Boy, I barely finished asking the question. Maybe that's why you got it wrong. Hmm. <sighs> You're kidding! Oh no! Only your partner can help you now. Never underestimate the power of fifth graders. Yes, yes, thank you. You've got one thousand dollars. Okay, the two thousand dollar question is: Alicia locked in her answer very quickly. I'm going to lock in my answer. Jeff. Use my copy. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Locking in. That. Is correct. All right. All right. That is incorrect. incorrect. Oh. Ah. What's the correct answer? I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. I can't believe it. Now, where I come from, they call that a right answer. Woohoo! You've got two thousand dollars. It's time to pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Okay, you're playing for five thousand dollars. Jeremy has locked in his answer. I feel good about this one. I'm locking on. Locking in. Lock in my answer. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. Yes. Boy, I barely finished asking the question. Maybe that's why you got it wrong. Oh. Oh. I can't believe it. Okay, it's time to check out your classmate's answer. Sometimes even fifth graders get some wrong. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I can't believe it. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Yes. All right, for ten thousand dollars, may we see the question, please? Your 
classmate is locked in. I'm going to lock in my answer. Locking in. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. All right. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. All right. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. Me. It's you and me, Lewis. Okay. The $25,000 question is... Lewis has locked in his answer. I'm going to lock in my answer. I'm going to go with Lewis. Locking in. That very well could be the right answer, but it's not. No! You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh, no. Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. Yes, you're moving on. Your classmate just saved your bacon big time. Yes, yes. Thank you. You've got $25,000. That's not the right answer. <sighs> Wow, I was sure about that one, too. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. I can't believe it. Okay, the $50,000 question is... Okay. I'm locking in my answer. You've got $50,000. Awesome. We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. Pick me! It's you and me, George. Okay. The $100,000 question is... Your classmate is locked in. I'm going to lock in my answer. That's not the right answer. Oh, oh man. What's the correct answer? We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I can't believe what a moron I am. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's time. What you're going to do here is pick out which fifth grader you want to help you answer the really tough question. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Here are the subjects for today's game. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly.
feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Locking in. It's you and me, Louis. Locking in. It's you and me, Jeremy. I think I'm going to copy my classmate's answer. It's been so long, I can't even remember what the question was, but that looks like the right answer. Woohoo! You've got one thousand dollars. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Yeah. You've got one thousand dollars. Awesome. Okay, you're playing for two thousand dollars. Jeremy has locked in his response. Locking in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Locking in. $2,000! Yes! You've got $2,000! Awesome! Boy, you answered that one quick! Wrong, but quick! Hmm... No... Let's see if your partner knows what the answer is. And the fifth graders have done it again. Yes, yes! You've got $2,000. You've got $2,000. Yes! Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Lewis. Okay, you're playing for $5,000. Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. Locking in. I'll go ahead and copy my classmate's answer. It's you and me, Julia. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. It's you and me, Jeremy. I'm going to lock in my answer. 
sorry, but that is not, not the, right the right answer. answer. Ah! No! Aw, oh, man. Okay, okay it's, time it's time to check out your classmate's answer. These fifth graders must have studied even if you didn't because that is the right answer. Yes, yes, thank you. You've got $5,000. You've got $5,000. All right. That is... Incorrect. Oh. Wow, I was sure about that one, too. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. Oh, no, I can't believe I missed that one. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Excellent. Okay, the $10,000 question is... Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. I think I'm going to pee. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Locking in. Let's just sneak a peek here at your classmate's answer. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it in. Locking in. That is incorrect. Oh, oh man, that's just incredible. Okay, let's see the correct answer. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. I can't believe it. That's not the right answer. <sighs> no. Oh, man. Let's see if your partner knows what the answer is. Sometimes even fifth graders get some wrong. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. Wow. I just flunked out. You've got $10,000. Woohoo! It's you and me, Juliet. Okay, you're playing for $25,000. I'm dropping out of school. You've dropped out of school. You've won $10,000. Now repeat after me, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am most definitely not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Okay, now the idea here is to pick someone smarter than you to be your classmate. It's you and me, Juliet. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. What are you good at? Well, I'm actually pretty good at health, world geography, and U.S. geography. Okay, you're playing for $1,000 on this first question. Juliet, 
has locked in her answer. Locking in. You've got $1,000. All right. Pick another subject. Okay, you're playing for $2,000. Locking in. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. All right. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Pick your next subject. So what are your favorite subjects? My favorites are definitely art, world history, and spelling. Okay, for $5,000, here is the question. Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly. I think I'm going to copy my classmate's answer. That's not the right answer. Oh. No. no. Show us the correct answer, please. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. Oh, no. I can't believe I missed that one. Before you go, I need you to tell the entire world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. I just proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Okay, it's time to pick which fifth grader you want to help you out when the questions get too hard. It's you and me, George. Here are the subjects for today's game. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. What subjects do you feel comfortable with? My best subjects are U.S. history, world history, and astronomy. Okay, the $1,000 question is... has locked in his answer. Locking in. That is not correct. No! Oh, no. Only your partner can help you now. Yes! Your classmate just bailed you out. All right. You've got $1,000. Your classmate just bailed you out big time. Pick your next subject. Okay, you're playing for $2,000. Your classmate is now locked in. I'm going to have to copy my classmate this one. You've got $2,000. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. I'm going to go with Juliet. Pick another subject. What subjects do you feel comfortable with? Well, I'm actually pretty good at world geography. All right. Okay, the $5,000 question is... has locked in her answer. I'm going to lock in my answer. You got that one right. Excellent. Excellent. Let's pick a subject. Okay, the $10,000 question is... Locked in her response. I'm going to lock in my answer. 
You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. Excellent. It's time to pick another classmate. Okay, it's you and me, Alicia. Pick another subject. So what are your favorite subjects? Well, I think I'm good at math and inventing. Okay, you get this next question right. You leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. to lock in my answer. You are not the fastest horse on the track, but at least you got the answer right. Woohoo! Nicely done. Let's pick a subject. Okay, no matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right now. Locking up. You are now locked in. You're going for $50,000. Now, where I come from, they call that a right answer. Yes! Way to go. That was some nice work. It's time to pick another classmate. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Let's pick a subject. What are you good at? My best subjects are music, U.S. history, and spelling. Okay. You're playing for $100,000. has locked in his answer. Jeff, I'm going to use my key. Not too sure of yourself, huh? Well, let's, let's see, see what, what your classmate said. said. Locking in. That's the answer you want to go with. Lock it in. You've got $100,000. Woohoo! Let's pick a subject. All right, for $175,000, may we see the question, please? Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Nope, sorry. Oh, oh no. There's your answer highlighted up there. Show us the correct answer, please. She wrote, partner, you just flunked out. I am such an idiot. Now repeat after me, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. Pick a classmate and let's get started. It's you and me, Juliet. Here are the subjects for today's game. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. Which subject do you feel confident with? Well, my favorite subjects are social studies, world geography, and art. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. Locking up. You got $1,000. Awesome.
Which subject do you want? Okay, the $2,000 question is... Your classmate is now locked in. I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got $2,000. Woohoo! Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. I'm going to go with Jeremy. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. What are you good at? Well, I'm actually pretty good at spelling and music. Okay, you're playing for $5,000. has locked in his answer. Come on. I know I know this one. Jeff, I'm going to use my key. Let's have a look at what your classmate wrote down. I'm going to lock in my answer. That answer. Go ahead and lock it in. You've got five thousand dollars. Woohoo! Let's pick a subject. Okay, this next question is worth ten thousand dollars. Which of the following words is spelled incorrectly? Okay, okay. I'm locking in my answer. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. All right. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. I'm going to go with George. Pick your next subject. What are you good at? My best subjects are... Earth science and life science. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. I think I'm going to cut. You've got $25,000. Let's pick a subject. Okay, this question is almost like a freebie. No matter what happens here, you've won $25,000. George has locked in his response. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You got that one right. All right. Great job. We have to say goodbye to this classmate and pick a new one. I'm going to go with Alicia. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. What subjects do you feel comfortable with? Well, I think I'm good at English, math, and animal. Okay, the $100,000 question is... Alicia has locked in her answer. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You got that one right. Yes! Nicely done. Pick another subject. All right, for $175,000, may we see the question, please? Your classmate is now locked in. Locking up. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. Yes! Way to go. That was some nice work. You're down to your last classmate. Cool. Cool. 
pick your next subject. Which subject do you feel confident with? Well, I think I'm good at world geography. Hmm. All right, thanks. Okay, the three hundred thousand dollar question is. Lewis locked in his answer very quickly. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for three hundred thousand dollars. You've got three hundred thousand dollars. Excellent. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. Okay, for half a million dollars, here's the question. Lewis has locked in his response. Locking in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for five hundred thousand dollars. That is incorrect. No. You're kidding. Oh no. Time to find out if your partner knows the answer. Never underestimate the power of fifth graders. Nice. You've earned half a million dollars. Luckily, you've got a pretty smart classmate there. Thank you very much. You realize what time it is now, don't you? Yes. You've reached the million dollar question. Let's see the subject of the million dollar question. And there it is, the million dollar subject. I'm going for a million. Woo! You're playing for one million dollars. What is a seven letter word meaning to settle down or become calm? What is going through your head right now? Oh my, I can't take much more of this. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars and walk out of here with twenty-five thousand dollars. Oh my! I can't take much more of this. No, I'm sorry. Ugh. Oh man.
I thought for sure I had it. There's your answer highlighted up there. Show us the correct answer, please. I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. Oh, man. I thought for sure I had it. All right, it is time to say those eight magic words. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader?